So it is that time of the year. What time is it exactly? Well, it's the Transformer Slag Podcast Top 5 Transformers of the Year voting. So we do this every single year. It has been a tradition that we've had all the way back with this podcast, dating all the way back to its beginnings in 2009. Me and Jaws D, we get together at the end of the year and we discuss the top five Transformers of the year. But the listeners also get to be a part of this. And what we always do is before we do that recording at the end of the year, we are going to do a voting tabulation. So all we ask that you do is in the comments below of this segment, vote of what you think is your singular favorite best transformer of this year. Now, it has to be something, kind of goes without saying, that has come out this year for Transformers. So if you're kind of like, oh, what, what came out this year? I need a list just to be sure. Well, I'll talk about it a little bit here so that I'll kind of refresh your memory. But also what I suggest is you go to the ever-amazing Lucas Brothers website, Unicron.com, and they sort every Transformer line by year. Click on the 2022, and you will be able to get a fresh reminder of what came out this year. But we'll also talk about it here, too, to kind of like say, hey, maybe you want to vote for this. Maybe you want to vote for that. As an extra bonus, if you are a Patreon member or if you are a YouTube member, the green names that are in our Super Chats and our Chats on the live streams, as well as, of course, in the comments in the, the segments here. If you are either one of those, when you do your voting in the comments here, just be sure to put your Patreon name if you're a Patreon member. And you don't really have to do anything if you're a YouTube member, because I'll see your name there. And as an extra bonus, when we do the segment, you will get a shout out with your vote. So that's a nice little extra thing you get with being part of the Patreon. Now then, so this also does not include third-party items. They have to be official Hasbro items. And also being omitted from this is Earthspark, because while Earthspark has been breaking street dates as of recently, just before the holidays, they are officially planned Q1 2023 items, so we will not be counting those two. So if you want to vote for those characters and those figures, uh, you'll have to wait till next year to get your opportunity. So let's get into that. So what what are some items that you might want to vote for? What do you think is the best Transformer of this year? Could it be something from Legacy? Legacy started with 2022. Everything that has come out under that Legacy banner is up for grabs. Could be that Wave 1 Core Class Legacy stuff. Do you really like that Hot Rod? Do you like maybe that, that new Igu Iguanas figure? That was a really nice one. What about the stuff in the deluxe class? You know, we got all those prime characters from RC and uh, and Knockout. And we even got uh, our very first uh, bulkhead in the longest time. Maybe getting G-Axis for the first time is a decent figure with the G2 stuff. Maybe uh, some Beast Wars love with Inferno. There's a lot of great figures. There's a lot of great figures in Legacy. Maybe our, our commander class. Did you really like the whole combining element and you loved Moto Master? Maybe the Titan class. Maybe Cybertron Metroplex did it for you. And you really like that one. Maybe that'll be your vote. Also, what about, uh, you know, some buzzworthy Bumblebee stuff? Maybe you really like that toy accurate uh, Dinobot or the, the Pterosaur. Maybe you like one of the figures that came from the Creature Collide set. Those were really good. Or the Red Cog exclusive that was available through Target. Not under buzzworthy Bumblebee, though. But maybe you like that. What about the Hasbro Pulse exclusive? Our Hasbro Pulse item, the a Hero is Born, Orion Pax and Alpha Trion. That's some good stuff, no? Maybe you really dug that HasLab item. Maybe you were waiting all year to get Victory Saber. How about some Walmart exclusives? The Velocitron Speedia 500 collection. Were you a guy like me that was just waiting forever to finally get an update of Nitro Convoy, a.k.a. Override? Were you driving yourself nuts trying to find Cosmos and then you finally got him? Or maybe, uh, you know, maybe you were into Black Repaints and Scourge was the name of the game for you. Or how about those other Walmart exclusives like the Buzzsaw, the Night Prowler, the Sandstorm, Bacon exclusive homage, Halloween Horicons, or just straight up a repaint from Beast Wars. 
What about some Amazon exclusives? How about the Wreck and Rule collection? Gave us some cool repaints from that too. The the Leadfoot, the Twin Twist, the Springer, the Impactor, the Bulkhead. Maybe something there spoke to you and said, that's the best figure of the year. What about the remnants of Kingdom? Kingdom spilled over a little bit into 2023 with the rest of the Golden Disc Collection, where we got the Mutant Tigatron or the Pterosaur that came in show accurate colors. Maybe Pterosaur was your guy. You were waiting all this time. How about Generation Selects? Getting your big boy, getting your Black Zarek or your Target Master Cyclonus or some awesome, very awesome Diaclone action through DK2, DK3, and Lift Ticket, Guard, Breaker. Got some of those too. Might be a 70s guy that likes your Diaclone and their best of the year. How about Studio Series? Studio Series. How could you leave out Studio Series? A lot of great stuff came from Studio Series. Bumblebee Movie Deluxes. That Brawn figure. Mm, great stuff. How about that Perceptor? Pretty much made every Perceptor that came afterwards worthless. How about, uh, you know, how about that Soundwave? That's a really good Soundwave figure there. Or Coronation Starscream from the 86 movie. Or getting a decent Fallen figure after almost a decade. Finally a decent Fallen figure. What about the introducing of the Core class to Studio Series? Did you dig the Exosuit Spike? Maybe the, so the Shockwave was your thing? Or a, a tiny little Ratchet? Or maybe a pink Bumblebee through the Laserbeak Bumblebee? Who knows? It's all good stuff. Wouldn't argue it. And how about some Studio Series premium finish kind of stuff? In the tail end of uh, January and everything like that, we got to see the Ratchet, the Starscream, the Optimus Prime. All that stuff started showing up through the premium finish. Maybe that's your go-to. What about the Shattered Glass collection that dominated 2022? Jetfire, Ultra Magnus, Blaster, Slicer, Flame War, Soundwave. All really good choices, all really nice repaints. Or the collaborative stuff. We had the re-release of Maverick. We had the Megatron His Tank with Baroness, the Tonkinator, the Optimus Prime and Megatron Street Fighter collaboration, along with the Hot Rod and RC one. Those were reissues from the old Japanese ones, now made for the retail space here. Maybe you really dig that RC. What about the RED collection? Robot Enhanced Design, Knockout, Ultra Magnus, Galvatron, Megatron in Transformers Prime, Optimus in Transformers Prime, Thundercracker, Shockwave, Soundwave, all of them. All the good stuff. Maybe that was your, your, your go-to. Or how about the peak of the cream of the crop, the Masterpiece line? Is there something in Masterpiece that is your number one Transformer? Could be Nightbird Shadow getting her first Masterpiece toy. Senator Crosscut getting that Skids Mold, another, you know, tryout. Two of our train bots of our MPG combiners debuted this year in Shuki and Getsue. Could be one of them. Very good figures. What about Trailbreaker? Trailbreaker made his MP debut this year, as, as well as some movie stuff in Blackout and Scorponok. Finally getting the masterpiece treatment. Or how about some reissues again through the vintage reissue line Walmart exclusives? How about some awesomeness that is the Beast Wars reissues. Tigatron, Cybershark, that amazing Wolf Fang mold, Pterosaur, Retrax, even Scorponok getting that Ultra Class treatment. Could be any of these. Could be any of these and more. Let me know what you think. Give your comment below. We'll tabulate everything and we will announce the top five Transformers of the year. And again, more importantly, the top five Transformers of the year by you, the fans. Let me know what you think. We'll talk to you again real soon. This will be closing. This voting will be closing on December 24th, Christmas Eve, and we will tabulate the votes and then do a segment, me and Jaws D together, to announce the winner. Stay tuned for that and have a great day.